Hi, people. You're welcome to my channel. So today we have this opportunity for people in climate and particularly SDG 7, clean energy. Uh, there's an opportunity to participate in a youth dialogue with global leaders uh, on a clean energy transition and it will take place in Abu Dhabi next year, around April. So, Irena is looking for a new generation of decision makers for the Irena Youth Forum at the 14th Irena Assembly. The International Renewable Energy Agency's fifth Irena Youth Forum will convene in April 2024 in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, at the margins of the 14th sessions of the IRENA Assembly. The Assembly is the agency's ultimate decision-making authority, where heads of state or government ministers and global stakeholders meet to discuss and advance the energy transition. The 2024 IRENA Youth Forum will strengthen youth networks and connect them with global thought leaders, government representatives, and IRENA experts. The forum will create a space for young people to contribute to the agency's mission of accelerating renewable energy deployment to achieve climate objectives and advance the sustainable development agenda. Uh, I'm going to share a link to this site in the description of this video and also the link to apply. But now I'll be talking about the opportunity and also showing you how to apply for it. So through a series of interactive sessions, including open dialogues and thematic workshops, participants will be able to add a youth perspective to the global energy discourse. So they're calling for anyone from anywhere around the world. It will be full sponsorship for you, including travel and accommodations for up to 35 people. So the application process, there is a link here. Down here, open. I'm opening the application link. And the deadline is 31st January. If you have any questions, there is an email here that you have to send to your question. So let's go to the application link. It's on the next tab. Here we are. So it's really a simple application. As you can see, few questions. You also need your CV. So get your CV ready and make sure your CV is aligned with what the call for applications is, that is clean energy. So if you have any clean energy experience, clean energy volunteering projects, clean energy certificates or awards, make sure you put them in your CV. So yeah, you come and put your first name, put your title, maybe a director. Uh, which of these climate organizations are you affiliated with? So you choose the one you're affiliated with. If there is none, you choose none. Put in your email address. That's just a sample, a fake email. Put your date of birth. You have to be 18 to 35, so make sure your age so aligns with that. Put your gender. Your city of residence, be country of residence, be down, down. or you put whatever country you live in. It's in some countries, it's 16. Please tell us about your engagement in promoting the deployment of renewable energy and sustainable development. So, here. Talk about a specific project or initiative you have been involved in that demonstrates your leadership and commitment to sustainable energy development. So you can put here, maybe if you've done some community projects on clean energy, for example, creating charcoal briquettes or training people how to make charcoal briquettes, um, any projects, including uh, environmentally sustainable cook stoves, uh, providing alternatives for cooking fuel, supporting a transition from charcoal to maybe gas, 
there are many ideas that you can talk about. So talk about your project in about 2,000 characters. Make sure you have at least at least 1,000 characters minimum. How do you see yourself contributing to the global energy transition and achieving the sustainable development goals? So how do you see the work you're doing contributing to the global energy transition? So whatever you talk about, make sure it's aligned with SDG goal saving. So let me show you, let me open this tab and show you SDG saving. So from these targets and indicators is where you can see whether the work you're doing is aligned with this goal on clean energy transition. So universal, universal access to affordable, reliable and modern energy services. So how is the work you're doing related to that? And the next one is increase us substantially the share of renewable energy in the global energy mix. Maybe if you're creating new renewable energy solutions, global rate of improvement in energy efficiency, enhance international cooperation to facilitate access. So any work you're doing, whether it's partnership, whether it's actual production, whether you're distributing clean energy solutions, all all your work is valid. So make sure you use this information to answer the question that we're working on. Install renewable energy. Okay, so let's go back. How do you see yourself contributing to the global energy transition? So make sure whatever answers you put are aligned with the targets and indicators for SDG 7. So, and also ensure that what you type in here is at least 1,500 characters. What are your expectations from participating in the Arena Youth Forum? And how do you envision it in contributing to your personal and professional growth? So you have to go back to this original page that has details about the program. So the program is giving you an opportunity to connect and put your voice out there where there are other global leaders interested in the transition to clean energy. So how does that contribute to your personal and professional growth? So Talk about that in here. Ensure you have at least 1,000 to 1,500 characters minimum. So then you go to this other, the last, second last question. Are you or your organization able to provide funding for your participation in the Irena Youth Forum? If maybe or no, please elaborate on why you should be considered financial support by Irena. So the financial support is limited to only 35 people. So why do you want to be among the 35 people? In this, response box, make sure you indicate why. Maybe you're good, you have the knowledge, you participated in previous negotiations on clean energy and you don't have the capacity to sponsor yourself. So talk about that in this description and convince the selection community why they, why they should choose you over the other 35, <laughs> over the other many applicants who can't make it to be among the selected 35. So here, make sure you choose your curriculum, your CV, and it should really be aligned with working clean energy. That is SDG seven. So if you don't know, if you really don't understand what what SDG seven is, I've told you to do some research. I'm on this site of UN, highlighted here in green. You can go and check out that site. I'm going to share all these details in the description of the video for you to go and submit a good application. With that, I'll end this video. So when you're done filling in everything, you can come and click on this submit button. For now,